Hello, my name is Sierra and I live out of a van and today I wanted to share with you my top 10 favorite swaps, uh, zero low waste swaps. So um, I am very new on this journey. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I am just starting out in this lifestyle. So these are just my beginner favorite swaps that I have made thus far on my journey. So if you are interested in seeing what I have, then just keep watching. Okay, so my first favorite swap is my makeup. I got these three items from 100% Pure. This is a red lipstick that I use as a blush. The mascara that um, they also sell like refills to it so you're not wasting as much plastic. Um, their foundation concealer cream and I got this from Etsy. I'll link everything below in the description but this is just a highlighter, a little cream highlighter that I am absolutely obsessed with. Uh, but I, this is my main favorite swap because of how destructive the beauty industry is and how um, just much damage the cosmetic and beauty industry does on the environment with like no remorse. So I think that gearing yourself towards a more sustainable makeup brands is something that's really important. So these were my first swaps in this new lifestyle and they've lasted me a really long time and I'm really obsessed with them. So those are my number one favorite swaps. My second favorite swap is Solid Perfume. So mine just comes in this little, this is actually made out of soap. I think it's like hard soap carved um, and like designs carved into it. Um, I got this at the henna shop um, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, but it just is solid perfume and you just go ahead and rub it and you can put it on just any places that you would put perfume. And I love this because first it smells absolutely amazing. Um, I think that it's like rose and like a lavender or something. It smells so good, but um, it doesn't have alcohol in it. And alcohol is in pretty much all perfumes and you don't think about the effects of aging when you put on perfume, but it does age you because you're drying out those parts of your skin. So if you're spraying your chest with perfume, then you're just soaking up those oils that you have on your body and it's just drying your skin out and if you're not moisturizing that at the end of the day and you just continue to know to use perfume then um you know it'll cause wrinkles aging and things like that um and perfume that sprays is not the best for the environment so yeah i love my little solid perfume my third favorite swap is my stainless steel razor this has honestly, I'm pretty sure, prevented my ingrown hairs. I had like extremely light ingrown hairs to the point where it was like layer, it was like under a small layer of skin. Like it's like I just needed to exfoliate a little bit deeper. But as soon as I got one of these razors, it fixed that problem right up. So they do look intimidating at first. It did take a little bit of time to figure out how to use it. I cut myself up quite a few times using it for the first couple of uh, days, but I figured out how to use it and I am obsessed with it. So this is definitely one of my favorite swaps. And I also just have this like little thing that keeps it protected. So then that way I don't like cut myself on it. So yes, that is my third favorite swap. My fourth favorite swap is a loofah. I got this off of Amazon. It came in a pack of three. Um, me and Juan both got one and then we just have a backup one. But I absolutely love this because it exfoliates better than any loofah or any like plastic loofah that I've ever used. This gives me such a good feeling of like deep exfoliation, really cleaning those areas instead of just like something rubbing on your body it feels like it's actually doing something so i really love these they're extremely inexpensive and it also came with a little bag which goes into my fifth favorite swap and that is produce bags so when i first got into this lifestyle i was seeing that produce bags was obviously a huge part in this lifestyle because when you go shopping you don't want to use those plastic bags that are in the produce aisle and I didn't want to buy 
$25 worth of bags that only came in a pack of like three and so when I ordered the loofahs I got this and I was like oh my gosh that's so perfect I'm gonna use this as a produce bag so I used this um, I also got this from the brand Ari I got some uh, little clothes like pajamas and stuff like that and it came with a little reusable bag so I actually have rice in this currently um, and then this I got in the Sprouts um, bulk section for 99 cents. And then I also will use this sometimes, which is just a Whole Foods um, reusable bag. So you can use like pillowcases, you can use jars, you can use a lot of different things for um, bulk produce and things like that. So don't let that prevent you from um, buying in bulk. You can find things around you or um, even like sew some stuff if you're creative and uh, sew sewing savvy. You can do something like that for yourself um, or even search the dollar store. I'm sure that you can find some things like that, like this at places like that. But yeah, that is my fifth favorite swap. My sixth favorite swap is cotton pads. So I used to use cotton pads to remove my makeup. They are currently in the dirty laundry right now, so I don't have them to show you. But I just got a 100% cotton uh, t-shirt that I was going to donate. And I just cut it up into little squares. And that is what I use as my cotton pads. Um, so you don't have to buy them in like the 23 pack. You can just, I have like a set for, that I use for my nails when I remove my nail polish. And I also have a set for when I take off my makeup. So that was really, it, that really came in handy because when I was looking at Etsy, it was kind of pricey finding like a pack of cotton rounds that were reusable when you can just use what's already around you or you can go to the thrift store and find a cotton t-shirt for pretty cheap too. So there are a lot of other options out there. And that actually goes into my seventh favorite swap, which is thrifting. I think that going to the thrift store is the easiest thing that you can do when transitioning into this lifestyle or just making a more conscious effort in being less wasteful. Uh, if you are going like back to school shopping or you are just looking for a couple of essentials for the new season, then going to the thrift store is the best and easiest way to just make a more conscious effort in caring about the environment and you can find a lot of cool stuff there. Also when shopping for like household items, you can refurbish a lot of new stuff. I've seen a lot of cool YouTube videos on people refurbishing like desks and chairs and um, couches even. So even if you're not creative, there are different um, like videos and stuff out there that you can watch if you want to challenge yourself. My eighth favorite swap is going to oils instead of like cream moisturizers. Now this is just my personal preference. This isn't going to work for everyone. It just depends on your skin type. But if you are looking for a cream moisturizer in a glass jar, then there are places like Mad Hippie, which I will also link below, and um, TJ Maxx, which I have a video on going through their uh, skincare section, which I will also link below if you're interested in watching. But going to a facial oil, it sounds super intimidating, especially for me. I have uh, oily skin, so going towards an oil was a little bit scary, but honestly, it has helped my skin so much, and it also comes in a reusable glass jar, so I love that as well, but that is my personal favorite swap, number eight. My ninth favorite swap is my glass storage containers. I used to use jars for a little bit, like reusable salsa jars or pasta jars, but then I realized that it's hard to um, put anything in there besides like soup or pasta. So I got these at TJ Maxx. The lid is plastic, but the container is glass. So it is going in a semi good direction, but yes, I really love these. They um, keep your food really fresh and they are not all completely plastic. And I feel more comfortable um, recooking my food. I obviously don't have a microwave in here currently, but when I would like, you know, reheat your items in the microwave, doing it in a glass container rather than a plastic container is going to be a lot more beneficial for your health as well. So that's something to think about also. My 10th favorite swap is 
my coffee cup. This is my Starbucks coffee cup and this is actually the reason why I decided to make the change for this lifestyle. Um, I was working at Starbucks at the time and I really liked this coffee cup but it was kind of expensive and I knew that I would just wasn't going to use it but I really loved it and if it went away I would have been really sad and I would have regretted if I didn't buy it so I challenged myself and I told myself that if I purchase it I have to use this coffee cup every single day for a month and fill my coffee in it instead of getting the plastic containers so when I started doing that I kind of just ended up falling down the rabbit hole of looking into like zero and low waste lifestyles and i was like oh my gosh i can take this a step further and just like make my whole life like this so yeah this is actually the start of this new lifestyle so i absolutely love this cup i don't drink tea as much anymore i would be a complete liar if i said that i didn't drink coffee at all sorry i said tea i meant coffee i don't drink coffee as much anymore but I did start drinking tea. So I make a London fog in this. Um, well, I try to um, pretty often, not every day, but like every other day. Uh, and yeah, it's my favorite little coffee cup. If I go to Starbucks or a different coffee shop and get a coffee from there, I obviously put it in here as well. So yes, that is my favorite top 10 favorite swaps. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.